Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna do something real quick here. We got the Jumper T16, and on the splash screen, when you power it up, it says key stuck and like nothing will work. So, here's the fix for that. First, you gotta take off the just pop off the plastic, the little rubber pieces, pop them off, pull your module out nice and clean so you don't bend any of these pins, and then take these two Allen screws out. So once you take out a Phillips screwdriver here, 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 and then you'll take out the two Allen screws, then you're able to separate this case. So you just take and pop this off, okay? Once you take those two screws out, and then grab onto the handle here, and you just kind of wiggle, wiggle the case straight up, not to bend those pins, just bring that case straight up and it comes right off. And then what you need to do, zoom in here. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take this little gray tab. I have to use some tweezers because my mitts are too big. Just pop this little gray tab up. See if I can get this focused for you. We're kind of doing this fix in the field, so bear with me here. Pop that little gray tab, pop that little gray tab pop this little gray tab it just pops up like a hinge like that okay don't push too much pressure on it you'll break it pop this one up and then you're gonna take this ribbon cable out you're gonna take that ribbon cable out and you're gonna flip them around I don't know if the ribbon cable was pinched or there was a little bit of corrosion or something that got on those pins so once you get those ribbon cables out and you just turn them around put them put them back in and push that little hinge back down okay and then putting it back together in reverse order but there's a couple things you need to watch out for when you put this back together okay you're gonna want to first kind of lean the lean the front of it in so the back is up higher I don't know if you can see that see how I'm kind of leaning in on the front so that these four pins for your module bay come through the hole properly without bending them and then down here you've got these two ports now look at look at how wiggly this board is okay so once you get your four pins connect in here without bending them over leaning it forward then come back go in here make sure your case is lined up go in here and and make sure that this board is is aligned and you can kind of wiggle this connector around with your tweezers until it pops through okay I apologize I should have had this out but this is your SD card you got to take that out first okay let me show you this real quick see how this board has to connect into these these two little grooves there's a little groove right there there's a little groove right there you gotta make sure that board is seated all the way down and you see how much it wiggles So you're going to put that forward, make sure those pins don't bend. When you go to seat it, you got to wiggle, the, wiggle this board into place. Now see how it just fell? It, I didn't have to do anything. It just fell flat on because you got to line that board up. So these pins and that board is what you got to make sure. And then the case is closed. It's nice, you know, it's tight all the way around. You can put your SD card in now if you want. Doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm not going to push it all the way down yet. The first thing I want to do is put this piece back in. So the rubber part goes over these connectors. Okay. So I'm going to put the two Allen screws back in. I'm going to put that screw, that screw, that one, that one, these one. Okay. I'll pop my SD card down, put my module back in, put the battery in, and then I'll flip it over and we'll go from there. All right, so we got everything buttoned up, and you just, I mean, these things literally just pop off. You just you just grab them with your fingernail, pop them off, you pop that one off. So you just pop them back in place. So I got the module seated back down, got the SD card plugged back in, the six Phillips screws, and the two Allen screws, okay? So all that's, all that's buttoned back up. So now, when we would power up... All right, 
right right there on that splash screen I don't know if you can see that but on that splash screen remember it would say uh, stuck key well that's not happening anymore and now when you click in your system you roll your it's rolling as smooth as silk and then all, all the buttons function now you hold down on that you can go into that so everything page button works nice and smooth one click goes to the next screen so that's that's the fix for that that is quite annoying I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit further in my research and find out if maybe there's an upgraded ribbon cable or what the what the cause might be but if you're having issues where it says stuck key on the splash screen and your rollers not working and your buttons aren't working you're doing all your stuff you can't figure out why why is it doing that those two ribbon cables in there need reseated so now I'm gonna go ahead and continue on to what I planned on doing is make this jumper T uh, open TX from jumper TX so thanks for checking out my channel hope that helped you out and if it did subscribe thanks mm -hmm.